could probably tell where I am by now by the transformer and the base of the uh, tower. Uh, and uh, I'm at a wind turbine that has just been recently put up this year in my area. And I'll now show you the actual wind turbine itself uh, a little bit and then talk about it afterwards. So we're out at the wind turbine. Uh, there's several in this area and we're going to start at the bottom. I don't know if I'll have to get farther back because uh, it's quite big actually. There you can see one propeller already. And there's the turbine or the wind, the full propeller itself. There's three propellers on there and uh, they do change direction. Uh, th right now it's pointing north but sometimes they are pointing south and uh, yeah that's the wind turbine itself. Now I'll show you some of the other ones that are in this area that have been spread out. As you can see, there are about four of them over there in a group. Uh, they usually group them in fours, uh, as far as I can tell, sometimes three. And then there's ones that are uh, separate all by themselves individually. Like uh, over here, uh, there is two that are just kind of off by themselves. That's the uh, back piece of the turbine uh, behind the propeller. And you can see there's a group of three and four over there. And that's the two that were by themselves. And there's a group that we were just looking at. It's a bit windy, so you might not be able to hear me. There's about three more over there. And directly in front of us, there's a group of them. Here's a rear view of one that's quite far away. I will show you also the rear view of the one that we're standing by. And uh, uh, then you can get a closer look at it. I also will probably show a direct upshot from the bottom straight up to give you an idea. The camera doesn't really do justice to the size of these things. They're massive in size. We are directly below the wind turbine itself. It kind of looks like the propellers or the blades on it are going slow motion if you look at it closely. It's uh, I guess just the effect of uh, the recording and how you see it but it's actually a constant speed. It's not slow motion at all. Uh, so we're directly below the tower. I don't know if you can't hear me. Uh, well hopefully you can hear me. It's a windy day but yeah we're right below it. And here is the base of the uh, wind turbine. Those uh, metal pieces there that you can see sticking up at the bottom are all bolted down and there's a cement pad and the transformer is over there and the stairs to get into access into the wind turbine itself are over there. Uh, green, whatever, good for the environment, just like solar power. 
Well, why would the Canadian government give uh, money to a company like this and uh, export all the power to the United States and meanwhile it's on Canadian soil? Don't the Americans have any free land that they can uh, uh, build their own wind turbines? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not mad at the Americans. They have nothing to do with the decision of who buys the power or where it's exported to. Now here we are getting a shot from behind the wind turbine itself, the one that we were close to. They do make quite a lot of noise, but I guess that's to be expected because of the size of the propellers plus the wind. I believe that black thing you're seeing right now is where the light on the light is for the airplanes, uh, like a warning light, so they don't fly into it, like mainly crop dusters. But that's the back of it. 